All right, viewers, how's it going? The date today is the 20th of April, 2023, and today you join me in a 2010 Skoda Yeti 1.2 TSI S. So yes, this should be fun. She lives only just to turn 83,219 miles. And let's go. Away we go. Oh, got to sit at the red light again. So yes, this is a 2010 Skoda Yeti 1.2 TSI S. It's a 1.2 turbo four-cylinder. About 104 brake horsepower, I think. I'll provide, the, um, excuse me, I'll provide the full specs in the description below. Yeah, it's pretty well equipped. It's got cruise control, um, dual zone climate control. It's a six-speed manual. I thought it would have DAB radio, but no, it's just standard FM AM radio. But it's got CD player. Yeah, leather interior as well. I've reviewed a Skoda Yeti before. seen Jeremy Clarkson test drive one of these on Top Gear as well. What did he do? He um, compared the interior space against the Maybach. The Maybach be, uh, may be more luxurious but this can seat more people and he also did a test where the uh, fire brigade crawled through it to test the uh, toughness of the interior. And he also drove it around a racetrack against a classic Ferrari and this turned out to be faster because the um, racetrack had some construction going on so the Ferrari had to slow down in order to not damage itself and then he drove it through a building that was on fire to test the um, air conditioning system where he like held an ice cream against the air vent and then he put a helicopter landing pad on top of it and a helicopter landed on it so yeah, conclusion, he said it was a pretty good car. So yeah, 50 miles an hour in sixth gear, that's 2,750 RPM. Be good to see what it's like on the motorway on the way back. But yeah, first impressions, clutch feels good, gear change is good. Brakes are good. Decent speed off the line. Currently doing 21 miles to the gallon. Whoops. Don't know what that was. Yeah, it's got that quality um, Volkswagen Skoda feel to it. Solidly put together. Let's try out the cruise control. Yeah, cruise control works fine. It's pretty quiet as well. And the ride's pretty good. Sunglasses. Yeah, not too bad. I've got heated seats as well. That's a nice touch. Probably don't need them on a day like today though. Doesn't need a bit of a hoover, but I'm sure they'll work on that. 
outsourcing take very good care of their cars. Anyway, coming up to the 40 mile an hour limit into Gerwen once again. So let's back off a bit. And I will see you guys a bit later on. So coming out of Gerwen, and I just thought of another test that Jeremy Clarkson did with the Skoda Yeti on top gear. He uh, drove it around a bumpy field, and a chap in the back got a tattoo done. And yeah, the tattoo turned out pretty good. And then they did the exact same test in a Range Rover, and you know the Range Rover, you know, rolled and tipped about, and yeah, the tattoo ended up looking a mess. So in conclusion, the Yeti rides more comfortably than a Range Rover. Anyway, we're about to get back onto the motorway for the return leg. today so this will be my last one before I go home and edit them all together. I think this and that V10 BMW M5 These two have to be, 
best cars I've ever driven. Don't know what I like about this, but you know, there's just something about it that makes me think, oh, I'd like a Scone Yeti in my life. It's very practical. up early in the morning. Got up this morning at six, which is about the usual um, the usual time I get up. But, you know, I'm just very tired all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, after this, drive past Anglesey Circuit, see what's going on. Stop off at the um, oyster catcher. The restaurants I used to work at and then after that go home and enjoy my afternoon to drive that 2005 Bentley Continental Flying Spur soon. But until then, thanks so much for watching this test drive of this 2010 Skodietti, and peace out.